Hi everyone! So today I thought I would uh, paint uh, with a negative space and in colors of blue, purple and kind of a pinkish magenta relaxing colors. Uh, I'm just back from a um, relaxation slash meditation um, thing uh, with the doctor that follows me for the pain and I feel super relaxed, so I feel like relaxing colors. <laughs> and I'm going to do that with... Uh, usually I would do flip and drag, but I have this uh, roll, roll of um, toilet paper that's empty, and I'm going just to use this, pour the colors in, and then drag this across the canvas. Uh, it, I think it's going to look nice, and I think it's going to work nicely too. So, uh, yeah. For that, I used some uh, inks, mostly inks, just one heavy body paint uh, and a little bit of heavy body paint too in my white. My For the white, what I do is I mix uh, half and half um, titanium white and zinc white. Uh, the reason for this uh, is because the zinc white has a very very heavy pigment density but it has a transparent pigment. So what I do is I add some titanium white which is a little less heavy in density but has an opaque pigment. So when I have cells forming in the white we can still see the lines forming and they don't completely disappear they remain a little bit opaque and we keep most of the detail. Uh, for the inks, one part ink to ten part medium. They are very liquid, so I added a couple drops of water to the inks, 25% water to the ultramarine blue, and yeah, no water in the white. I want to keep it as heavy as possible. Water has a lighter density than paint, so it helps the color sell up, but if I put water in my white too, then it makes it more difficult for the white to sink into the colors and create cells by pushing the colors up. And the water will help the, the, those colors that are getting pushed up. The water is going to help them to float. So hopefully we get cells, hopefully we get a nice design. Uh, with the, the negative space, so how about we get started with that? I'll zoom you in. Huh. Well, that's a fail. I forgot to film that. So, I guess I have to start over and do another one. <laughs> so what I'll do is put this one away Mix more paint and redo the same process again. Yeah. All right, guys. So, scene two, take two. So, since I forgot to film, um, well, I, I forgot to press record. Well, <laughs> oops. Um, I'm going to do the same process again, uh, with the same color, same paint mix, everything the same. Uh, just going to do a, a take two, exactly. <laughs> so, start by... Pouring the white. the sides. Well then, I guess this one I'm going to start at this corner instead of this. 
but it's going to be the same in the life process. Otherwise, I'll have to learn that. So I'm dripping paint everywhere, and since I didn't change the paper on there, I have uh, other colors in white. I want to keep my negative space uh, as white as possible, you know? say I like this one even better than the first one. I will put pictures uh, to so you can compare them, uh, look at them as you wish. I, I will picture them both. Uh, I'm really sorry I forgot to uh, press the record button. But hey, um, I made a nice painting and I enjoyed myself and talked to myself too. <laughs> thought I was talking to the camera but I wasn't. So yeah, mm, it changed a bit, uh, not as much cells as the other one, but I really liked how the color mixed uh, in this one. The dioxazine purple coming through here, um, and it really likes to follow the lines I did, so it really gives a, a monster-like shape with the lines I made all around. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, the lines really gives it movement and it gives it a, really a, a style and um, attitude. <laughs> it looks uh, more monsterish, more uh, spread across the white background and I quite like that. I also love that I got a lot more of the pink here and in this painting. It's a pearlescent, so it's going to look pretty fantastic. Uh, I love all the little swirls and mix of the paint here. Lovely. Um, and yeah, not as much cells. Got a bunch of cells here, but they're sliding off that way. It's okay. I got some here, but mostly it's the shape, the movement, and the colors uh, that are attractive with this one. The other one had a whole lot of cells, just not as much movement as this one. And I think they would actually match nicely together for a diptych, but I think uh, individually like that, they are pretty nice too. So I'm going to leave it like that. 
let them dry, see how they dry, see um, if they dry nicely, if they don't crack. Uh, usually I don't have cracking in my painting, it's not one of my problem. And especially today it's very humid, uh, very heavy. The humidity will help the paint dry slower and help with uh, avoiding cracks because often the cracks are caused by the top coat, the top film of the acrylic forming too quick and sliding off or moving and then cracking and revealing the color under. Well, in this case, the humidity prevents the top film from forming too quickly, plus the GEC 800 also helps with that. It really uh, slows the drying time of the acrylic and by doing so it avoids forming the top film too quick and avoids crack. Uh, so yeah, lovely painting. Uh, I will put picture of the other one too that I forgot to film uh, and they were both made with the same process but they both came really different and I love that with fluid acrylic uh, you can predict the color, you can choose the technique you want to use, you can uh, decide how you want to apply the paint to the canvas, you can decide how which order you put the paint in on and then after you move it or you're done you will get two very different painting even if you use the same colors, the same technique, and yeah, I love that. <laughs> I have to say that I really do. And yeah, I'm a happy painter. It's really lovely. Love the colors, very calming, very in the mood of what I, how I was feeling today. Smooth, calming, blue but then with spikes, <laughs> like, oh, it's calming, but has a bit of a weird look to it, and I love it. And we're back, and uh, like I mentioned, the humidity today is pretty high, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get thunderstorms, uh, so I am not sure that the paintings will dry in time for me to take picture. So what I'll do is I will post them to my social media pages. All the links are in the description if you want to check it out. But someone suggested in the comments that I put the picture in my next video. So if I don't have time to well, if they don't have time to dry and I don't want to push them to dry quicker, I want them to dry nice and slow, uh, I will put the pictures in my next video. So, you will be able to see it if you don't have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those, those stuff. Just check the next video and you will see them. Because uh, I'm hoping they will dry, but I'm also trying to be realistic here <laughs> and it's a bigger painting there's a lot of paint on the canvas uh, not sure if it will dry it's okay though nice paintings and you guys will be able to see it in the next video I'll start the video with that um, for you guys so yeah pretty happy love this one really do with the lines everywhere doesn't have as much cells on the edges and everything so I really could work it more than the other one which were a lot of cells all around but this one not as much and yeah it's still moving it's still changing uh, hopefully all the details don't slide off the canvas with my leveled apartment it's kind of difficult to level the canvas. I need a better table to do that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm a happy painter, like I said, and I hope 
you guys are having a great day and yeah thank you for watching make sure to subscribe for more and i will see you in the next video bye